Hey man, Dennis Agru, Tai Kai Jiu Jitsu. First of all, guys, uh, I want to thank Ken uh, and Jim for donating their time, their efforts to try to make this time uh, a productive time for you guys. We're going to crank out videos. We're going to give you what you need to get through this. Uh, I know I'm going to be active on social media on top of access to this to try to get all of us through this difficult time. Let's do some Jiu Jitsu. All right, here we go. So first thing we're going to do, a closed guard series, overhook. This is awesome for, this was our core MMA series. He's throwing bombs at me, right? Ah, we get the overhook. But in jiu-jitsu, he's not punching me. We need to get his hands on the mat. So the most basic thing we can do, we can sit up, do a little ab crunch, grab his elbows. We're going to pull him out and pull our knees in. Try to get those hands on the mat. From there, we want to work that overhook as we control the head. Now, every time we get an overhook or an underhook, in this case the overhook, we want to move our hips to that side. Here's what I mean. I sit up, gym class sit up. I get those elbows, I pull them out, I pull my knees in. I get the overhook. Now watch this. Whether you have to step on the floor, step on the hip, or uh, Frankenstein legs, little I'm on my hip. I scoot out towards the arm that I have. Now, first thing we're going to do, once we get out there, we're going to go after the collar. Check it out. Boom, gym class sit up. Pull the elbows in, hand on the mat, scoot the bottom out, and everyone take a little peek here. I'm opening the collar and getting my hand in there if I can. From there, I could start to grab, get, I chop the neck, get a grip, bring it, everything in and try to get the choke. It's a low percentage choke, but when it works, it's beautiful. It'll get a reaction out of him. It'll bring that hand up to defend. When it does, we get control. Look how I open my hips, get control. Grab the wrist, immediately watch this, folks. We step on the hip, we keep the knee high, block the shoulder. Can everyone see that? Nice and controlled. This leg comes up as high as possible, has a tea party. Now, if I have dead legs, I try to get this through, uh, it's a mess. If you take this leg and you push it down as hard as you can and you lift your bottom up off the mat, then easy peasy lemon squeezy, you open this up, you don't let go, look how easy that comes out. Now if you got nice long beautiful legs, you might be able to lock it up. If you've got little short stubby legs like me, just sneak it out. Lock it up in the diamond position, and then slowly work to a triangle. If need be, a perfect triangle. Finish it up. Here we go, all the way through. We're here. Gym class sit up, pull the arms out, hand on the mat. We scoot to the side. Let's test the choke. Maybe we get the choke with a little tap, baby. There we go. Or he starts fighting. Let's get control of the wrist. Step on the hip, knee in front of the shoulder, tea party. Push down on the tea party, pull that leg out. All right, let's either go perfect triangle now or diamond position. Sit up, control the head. Sit up, control the ankle. Step on the hip, make the adjustment, kick the ceiling. Finish it right here or whoop, finish it right here. That's the first part. Break them down, get that triangle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.